Hey guys, it's Layla. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm back with a highly requested video. A lot of you want to know um, what my midweek moisture looks like. I actually have a video on this that I filmed maybe like three, maybe four years ago. Nothing has changed. As you know, I am a creature of habit. If something works, I like to stick to it. Okay guys, so just some quick facts for you guys who might be new to my channel. If you are here for the first time, hello, hi. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, uh, ring the alarm. <laughs> Hit the bell, ring the alarm, all that good stuff, okay. Um, I have low porosity hair. Firstly, so that low porosity hair informs a lot of my techniques and decisions when it comes to my hair. This means that it takes moisture a little bit longer to penetrate my strands. Um, however, if I do manage to get it in there, it stays like longer, okay? I allowed my hair to get dry. I allowed my hair to get dry for the purpose of this video. And by allowing my hair to get dry, I mean, bam, <laughs> this, okay, look at it. Look, look how dry it looks, it looks crazy. So we are gonna take this, we're gonna go from this to this. Hopefully if my editing is up to par, okay. <laughs> I don't moisturize daily. Even if I have my hair loose, it does not need daily moisturising. My entire wash day process is really conducive in creating an environment where my hair retains moisture. If you would like to see more on that, please feel free to check here. It could possibly be right there. Okay. Once you have your hair in your desired sections, I'm going to go in with my LCO method. You can also do the LC... L-O-C, <laughs> the lock method. So you can do liquid oil cream, but I have always done from lightest to the heaviest product. So I go in with my lightest product, just like skincare. You know, you start with the lightest and then you create a barrier with the heaviest. Please do whichever method works for you. I'm just showing you the steps that I take. So within those individual steps, feel free to like, you know, switch it up to whatever works for you, okay? I'm first gonna put a little bit of moisture back in my hair using just water. So you can use water. If I have it, then I would use like either aloe vera juice and water mixed together in like maybe a 50-50 ratio. Sometimes I would do like 80-10, so 80 aloe, 10% water. Sometimes I just use straight up H2O. Firstly, we're just, as you can see, <laughs> I'm gonna go in and just pull out my ends a little bit because they've coiled on themselves. Um, and that's just the nature of my particular hair texture. So I do this and then I'm just gonna go in with a little water. I don't want my hair to be damp, I just wanna mist it lightly. As I have low porosity hair, I am going to warm my hair a little bit to help the water go in. I'm also going to squeeze my hair, and by squeezing the hair, it helps it to absorb the water much quicker. Um, you can see right now, all the water beads are sitting on my hair. Um, and it would sit there for a while before it would be absorbed because my hair is low porosity. So next, what I would usually use is either a leave-in, like a regular leave-in, or a moisturiser of your choice. You can use any. I use whatever I can get my hands on. But these are some ones that I'm loving at the moment, and I thought I'd do a little product recommendation. So... Once again, the Camille Rose, and this is the whipped cream leave-in. It's extremely moisturizing, extremely. I'm just loving it wholeheartedly. I also have the original Camille Rose Moisture Milk leave-in as well, which is very, very nice. I really like this one as well. I think I like the lavender one slightly more. Um, but this is also, again, very, very good. Any of my Cantus, so sometimes I use the 
leave-in conditioner but this version I tend to like this one slightly more for midweek moisturizing or sometimes I'll go straight in and use my coconut curling cream today I'll be using the leave-in conditioner by Cantu. Always starting from my ends and then I work the rest of what I have in my hands upwards. Just using my smoothing motion, okay, until my hair starts to feel like silky, which is smooth. Does that make sense? So the hair will start to feel very smooth and then I know like okay cool I've done a good job finally I'm going to seal everything in using my oil slash whipped butter so I usually use shea butter to seal my hair every now and then I might use an oil and today once again I'll be using my wild seed whipped shea butter the botanical whipped shea butter this is the original version Similarly to the other one, it's also very, very soft and it emulsifies really easily, which means it's nice and light and it doesn't just sit on my hair and coat it. Okay, so that's the first section done and then we can just twist it out of the way. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are done. We've moisturized our hair in sections. You don't have to do as many like mini sections as I did. Sometimes I do four um, and that is sufficient. So this final step is the most important one, especially if you have low porosity hair. Even if you don't, this is like an excellent way to really help the products you've applied to your hair penetrate, okay? mini spa day so i usually take a plastic bag or if you've got like a shower cap or whatever you have you can place that on your hair for about 13 15 to 30 minutes maybe 45 sometimes i do it overnight so just before bed i'll re-moisturize my hair i'll throw a plastic cap on and then i'll sleep with it today we're using plastic bag we're actually using my bin liner because because COVID. And I'm just gonna pop my headscarf over it because um, I am, and I just want it to heat up as much as possible in the smallest amount of time so I can come back and show you guys. What up guys, I'm back. I had some wonderful fufu. It was so good guys, like it hit the spot. But I'm back, I've taken my plastic cap off and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that my hair is looking moist moisturized okay it's moist moisturized right it looks so much better okay and i would literally just leave this because as you know i've got nowhere to go okay but i'm gonna take it down so you guys can see even though you can already see but that's fine let's take it down but this is such see see the hair is just in such a better state than it was when we started out this is a really good way to lock in moisture in your hair guys and um, my hair's not even completely dry 
it's still damp in the middle but that's fine um this is for video purpose look at that shine guys listen when you seal with that share butter share butter baby um, something up my window So you guys can see we've got moisture on lock on uh, moisture on lockdown okay on lockdown look at that woo chow look at my hair man and like I said this is how I re-moisturize my hair it hasn't dried obviously but whatever um it looks buff Peng. It looks peng. This is what it looks like. I hope you guys can see. Even though it's not dry, it looks so much better. It's malleable, it's softer, it's shinier. Um, and it doesn't look like how it looked at the beginning of this video. So... Let's throw it out a little bit. The plant is in the way because I had to move myself closer to the plant <laughs> today, just now, um, and it's really annoying. I've tried to tuck it away, but it's not working. So. She's basically saying to me, you're in my spot. You're in my spot. Such a diva. I'm a, a diva. I'm a, I'm a, a diva. That's it, y'all. Yeah, I hope you found this video helpful in your hair journey. I love you guys so much. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.